Howdy folks and welcome to the Strings of Country interview. I'm your host DK. Now today I'm delighted to talk to a guy who's known as the Slopes Man. Now when I say the Slopes Man, I think you know exactly who I'm talking about, but I'll tell you in a minute for those of you who are not too sure. Now the story started way back in 1945, that's after the Second World War. There was this guy called Kibera Gashao. He loved music, he bought his guitar out there in Burma, and when the war was over, he entertained his fellow soldiers with that guitar, playing mostly country music. Now when he came back home, he had uh, a big family, these guys were 10 I believe, and my guest will confirm that, and uh, he had great influence to his, uh, you know, his uh, sons and daughters. And our guest today, he got that influence from him, and the rest of the story, you maybe don't already know, but we'll tell you in a moment. My guest today is none other than Danson Wahome. Danson Wahome. Yes. Howdy. How the fuck? <laughs> How you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. Karibu son of the strings of country. Thank you so much. Okay. Yes. Good to have you. Yeah. And you. Uh, we'd like you to briefly tell us about uh, that journey. I know it started in the Second World War. You yeah. are not there. I wasn't But born. you can talk about the influence, your dad coming yes. back from uh, Burma, yes. and how you know that uh, came to have an impact on you. Yes. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, it's always much fun to be here on Strings of Country. Yes. And um, I would say that this, this program that people really love about country music. Thank you. Now, my dad was an ex-soldier uh, the, during the Second World War. That was a long time ago. I wasn't born. But he loved music and he used to play the guitar. And um, when he came back, uh, he brought a guitar home. So it's very important now what you leave behind. Eh? Yes. We'll talk that about that uh, later on. Yes. But now he, when they were coming back, they were singing a song after fighting now for the, you know, they were fighting for Her Majesty, the Queen. The battle was won and they were coming back home. Yes, they were coming back home. And they all on that ship. Yes. They were singing. What song were they singing? They were singing. When I was a little boy, my mama kept me well Now I am a big boy Soldier fighting for the king uh -huh. <laughs> Okay Oh, okay, <laughs> that's good. That sounds uh, fantastic. <laughs> yes. Now tell me something. Yeah. Uh, you, how many were you at home and how did you start playing the guitar? Did he teach you? Did your big brother teach you? Or maybe your big sis perhaps? Well, now unfortunately my dad passed away when I was a very small boy. Uh, way back now in 1983, my dad was a good uh, guitarist. At one time he had played the guitar for the renowned Father Williams. Uh, yes. Yes, and um, now uh, I did not. I can't remember my father playing the guitar because I was way too small. Okay. But my elder brother had picked the interest uh, interest now from my dad because he was much older. Now he had learned some few chords mm -hmm. from my father. So when I grew up, I found my elder brother uh, Joseph Kashau. Okay. Now playing the the guitar. What music was he playing? He was playing a bit of country music. A bit of country yes. and a bit of something else, or just country. Just country and his own composition. Yes. And um, so I they, I developed an interest yeah. in playing the guitar so very much because there are some songs that my father had composed yes. that my brother was playing. And maybe next time you, I come here, I will, I will try to put that song to, together so that I can sing for you okay. that song he had composed. And did he teach the, you or you just picked up the guitar and uh, taught yourself how to strum it? Well, I used to observe as he, my brother is ah, playing the guitar. Yes. Uh, I would say that back then he didn't know how to play the guitar very well. Uh -huh. There are some chords, maybe the guitar chords that he wasn't holding right. Yes. So. When I, I did my O levels, mm -hmm. that is little. When I start now playing, uh, practicing guitar seriously, mm -hmm. and I bought a book. Yes, I bought a book and uh, a cassette by some guy called Joe King. You know, when you say cassette, some of our viewers have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, that makes me sound as if I was born <laughs> Stone Age. No, okay, we're talking about the 80s, but it's still yes. a long time ago for many of our viewers. Well, yes. I would say once upon a yes. long time ago, but not in Bethlehem. Yes. Tell them, is that thing we used to rewind or forward using yes, a viral? Or yes, a big viral uh, yes. like this. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So uh -huh. I had bought a, a book yes. and uh, an audio cassette okay. yeah, those mm -hmm. times. Yes. And I could listen now to the cassette mm -hmm. and relate to the chords uh, reading the book. So I learned. So now, you're mostly self taught? Yes. yes. So I learned the finger picking, yes. the strumming patterns, yeah. and the chords. Yeah. 
okay, maybe I'll, I'll when I get a time, some time, yeah. I'll now show the our viewers now what really makes uh, the difference. Yeah. Because sometimes you you pick the guitar, yeah, play the chords, but you try to play alongside the song, but it doesn't come. You can feel maybe the song is on key G, yes. but you play your G, but it's not coming. So we will talk about. And who taught you about the different uh, keys, key G, uh, key something I learned else. in the book. Just I mean, from the book that yes, you Yes, from bought. the book. And yes. you, listen, uh -huh. you listen to the audio. Yes. And first of all, you tune the guitar yes. with uh, how the, the guy now, the tutor is, mm. is, uh, is tuned. Yeah. Then, so that whole your uh, guitar sounds like his. Yes. Then you also need to have a capo because yes. uh, some of the songs, mm -hmm. he used the capo. Now, you play alongside, and when you play, it is you know, hard enough. And it was very hard because mm -hmm. you don't get a part, you, you rewind. Uh -huh. Then you start again. again. Maybe someday you rewind it too far. <laughs> then you have to forward <laughs> exactly. again. Exactly. That alone could take like, uh, yeah, so long. Eh? Now tell me something. Mm -hmm. And uh, which uh, music in particular do you like? You know, which, are there any artists that you, you know, you are more fond of their music than others? Yeah, definitely yeah. I would say yes. Yeah. Yeah. I love music by Kenny Rogers. All I right. love music by Don Williams. Yes. Um, I like music that you can sing softly. Because most of the time when I'm invite, um, called somewhere to go and perform, yeah. I po perform when people are having dinner or they're having lunch, they are talking. So you need to tone down your music. You are just singing soft. One who enjoys your music will mm -hmm. listen. Yeah. One who do not like maybe that genre of music will be talking. Yes. I do not bother them, you see? Mm -hmm. So I like music which is soft. Yeah. You just sing in a low tone. Yes. And most of Donuidian music is like it's, that. Oh yeah. Laid back. Yes. Soft music. I love also music by Samuel Kenny Chesney. Yes. Alan Jackson. Uh -huh. I love music by George Strait. Uh -huh. I got many people like You're forgetting uh, your favorite Paul Over Street. Paul Over Street, yes. yes. <laughs> I'll talk about him in and a bit. like Paul Over Street. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. You see, Paul Over Street is a very good writer. Yeah. He has written the song done by Randy Travis, Forever and Ever Amen. Yes. He has also done a song with Don Moy, mm -hmm. God is Good All the Time. Yes. He has done a song like Long, uh, Long Line of Love. Yes. Very good music. I like that one. Yeah. I like music mm -hmm. that or you can play this music to. Uh, for the whole family, yes. you know, some music which has a good message, yes. which cannot embarrass you, mm -hmm. which speaks about good life stories. Yes. Uh -huh. I like. That and Jansen, when you talk about your favorite uh, country singers, yes. you're talking about Don Williams, uh, Kenny Rogers, mm -hmm. uh, Randy Travis. Yes. Looks like you're more drawn towards a traditional country than a modern country. Is that is that, is that true? <laughs> is that yes. how it is? Yes. Let yeah. me say yes. is that. Um, since I listened to this country music when I was still a young, very small boy back in the say, up country, yes. most of these traditional songs, uh, country music, they ring a bell. You know, they refresh the memories. Mm -hmm. Like uh, the other day, I was listening to the, this Don, Don William song, Yellow Moon. Uh -huh. ah, I was, I could remember <laughs> those days yes. back there, and my brother had, well, my now was working with them. Um, Police, uh, Kenya police, he was posted in Madeira. That's what music does, eh? yes. brings back such yes. pleasant memories. Eh? He had brought that National Panasonic ah. big radio cassette with the two speakers <laughs> <laughs> with the car batteries yes, yeah. connected there, yes. blasting the country yeah, music. Yeah. And I'm looking at the yes. after the cattle all day in the field, yes, I could listen to the music. Yeah, now we uh, fast forward uh, 2016. I listen to that song, mm -hmm. Yellow Moon. There's a yellow moon. Yes. It brings refresh those memories. Yes. So I would not say that I don't like um, the new uh, modern country music, mm -hmm. but I really prefer the traditional country music. Is it because of the beat? Because I, I think the, the message is the same. More well, or less the same. I would say it? some of these uh, modern country music they yes. still have the same storyline. Yes. And the melody is sweet. Mm -hmm. But some of these uh, country music, they are almost now sounding like a bit of rock. Soft rock. Yeah, soft rock. And yeah, yes. those brasting guitars yes. now. Uh -huh. You agree with yes. me like the Brand yeah, Paisley. Yeah, exactly. Man uh -huh. on the tire. Yes. Hey, or <laughs> alcohol. Yes. Hey, by Brand Paisley. Yes. You know, that is almost more yes. of uh, some uh -huh. rock, yes. rock feeling eh, mm -hmm. in the country music. Yes. I, Really prefer the soft, mm -hmm. the soft uh, the country st steel music. guitar. Yes, yeah, steel guitar, the stride Laid guitar. Laid-back kind of I, sound. Yes, uh -huh. yeah. It's to me, it sounds very cool. I see. Yeah, and I've promised myself that mm. I will once buy that steel guitar and learn how to play it. Okay, <laughs> okay. it sounds so cool. And by the way, I want you to play a song before we go to uh, on a short break. Yes. But uh, before that, mm. tell me something about uh, your uh, take on the uh, connection between uh, gospel yes. music and mm. secular music vis-a-vis yes. uh, -vis country music. 
Thank you very much for that question. Yes. Yeah. I would say this is that there are many um, uh, guys that I respect. Mm -hmm. there, are, there are people who are spiritually upright. Eh? Yes. They have uh, composed great uh, gospel music and also they sing country music. And um, I would say uh, it is fair. Mm. I, I believe it's fair to speak about our own. Yeah. To talk about somebody like uh, uh, Ruben Kigami. Yes. He has very good uh, country music uh, about the sweet Hugely Mobasa. talented. Eh? Uh, sweet Bunyore. Yes. The, you know, so this is good music. Mm -hmm. There's good music and I have tremendous respect yes. for somebody like uh, Ruben uh, Kigami. Okay. You cannot talk about country music in Kenya and yes. not mention somebody like him. Okay. So you find that this music the content, yeah. the content is very is the most important thing. Yes, uh -huh. I I don't belong to the school of thought yes. of those people who still believe that being mm. a, a Christian is holding your Bible close okay. to your chest yeah, exactly. and walking meekly to church. Okay, <laughs> I believe that God yes. looks at the intents of our hearts and He judges us from the uh, what is in our hearts, yes. not from the face. He looks at the heart. Yeah, I know, Dan. We are going to talk about that uh, after the break. Yes, but before we we before that, mm. there's a song I would like you to play. Yes. Uh, song titled When Mama Prayed. When Mama Prayed. Uh, one reason being the message in that music is quite powerful. Yes. Isn't it? I don't know. What's your take on it? The Randy Travis When Mama Prayed. Yes. I love this particular song. Yes. Because I, I would say that in my own life, uh -huh. I would say that when Mama prayed, my own mom, yes. Mary Modoni Kibera, uh -huh. unfortunately she went to be with the Lord five years ago. Sorry when, whenever that. my mother prayed, yes. it, is, it didn't matter whether we were, uh, you know, struggling through the big, hunger. Big things happen. Yes. <laughs> Even if you were going through the hunger pangs of the yes. 1984. Yes. When mama prayed, yes. when she chanted a prayer, uh -huh. something good happened. Can we say no more than five foot tall, but when she prayed, mountains yes. big, and, big small, and small crumbled. crumbled. Yes. <laughs> okay. They did crumble because, yes. yeah. you see the Bible says that yeah. even if you have a faith as small as the uh, as master's seed, mm -hmm. Uh, if you have that, that faith, yes, it can move mountains. Doesn't matter how big you are. Yeah. What matters mm -hmm. is what's in your heart yes. and your conviction. Yes. So when you pray, anything yes. can happen. You yes. can move that. Uh, you that can mountain. Mo move those mountains. Okay. So, now hold that thought, uh, mm -hmm. Dan. Eh? Mm -hmm. Well, viewer, uh, you are tuned in to the Strings of Country interview, and my guest today, Dan Sonohome. They call him the Slopes Man. Now there's more coming after the break, so don't you go anywhere. But before that, let's check out this song uh, by Randy Travis when Mama. Pray it this time round, done by Danson Wahome. Daddy never went to church on Sunday. He said, I lost one thing I'll never do. Mama never gave her, she said, one day. Sitting here beside me, you I can still hear my soft talking, her tears falling on and falling head. That is the Sunday that he walked in. That's when I began to understand when Mama prayed. Good things happen when mama prayed. Love change, not much more than five foot tall, but mountains big and small. Clad with all rain. when mama prayed. Seventeen and wild. I hit the bottom Doing anything a dang well priest Driving down life's highway at full throttle While mama bound the candle on a knee That one night I came home half sober I found mama To end. When Mama prayed, good things happened. When Mama prayed, love would change. 
not much more than five foot tall. My mount is big and small, clever doorway. Not like every one of them got and say, but the time the world to me seems worried. Almost felt sorry for the devil, but heaven knows he didn't have a prayer. When Mama prayed, good things happened. When Mama prayed, love came. Not much more than five foot tall, but mountains big and small. And mama prayed